Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. Now, on this episode, we're going to be talking about the tradecraft skill of baking. Uh, for those of you who want to start this, this is going to be a little tutorial on how to do that. Uh, you're going to need a few things, and one of the main things uh, is going to be the, uh, the meat that you need. Uh, you can use pretty much anything at this level, bear meat, uh, gator meat, mammoth meat, lion meat, rat meat, wolf meat, uh, fire beetle eyes you can use, but you're going to need... Uh, a pie tin to make those and those should be all the low-level ones that you really want to start with now to make the stuff we're gonna do today uh, we can use pretty much all the meat we have which is wolf meat lion meat and bear meat and uh, we'll make the exact same recipe basically it's gonna be producing different things but we'll use uh, one piece of meat uh, one thing of spice and one thing of short beer now where do you buy the spice well this vendor right here in front of me sells the spice if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see it right here and you can buy as many stacks as you're gonna need now it's pretty cheap seven copper for each one I went ahead and bought four or five stacks because I got quite a bit of meat here to try now once you get that in case you're wondering where it is it's actually down here uh, by the bank the bank is right here I'll go in here and show you guys so you can see it's just right down the hall not very hard to get to uh, in different zones it's gonna be in different places obviously and I'll show you guys where to buy the uh, the beer and you can actually buy some of the uh, the meat uh, from NPC sometimes people will come in here and sell it uh, because they don't uh, use that tradecraft or they don't need it whatever the the case may be now to actually make this stuff you're going to need an oven there's only one place uh, that I know of to use an oven in this area that's uh, not in this quarter it's in the very first one so we're gonna head on over there that's exactly uh, right next to where you buy the beer as well so that comes in handy and you can also use it to buy uh, loaves of bread if you want to do some of the lower level uh, recipes as well so now I'll read out all the different recipes at this level tell you uh, how many it yields uh, what you're gonna need to use and what the trivia level of that recipe is once we start getting started but uh, I'll just I just want to show you guys how to do all this uh, from the very beginning before I start confusing you with all the different recipes that you can use because it does get very confusing uh, the higher the level you go you need one of this and one of that and all of a sudden you need like 15 items from all over the world and, and you make this crazy crazy piece of food that sounds delicious but uh, is incredibly hard to make so if you want to buy the short beer uh, you can come over here to this guy and he has a whole bunch on him as well uh, let's see where is it right there short beer uh, one silver, five copper, so a little costly. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of money to spend here and there. I think I had 16 platinum when I first started, uh, and now I'm down to 13, 7. So, you know, about three platinum total for everything I wanted to get. Uh, now, the oven is actually right over here, and we're going to head on over there and actually try making our first piece. Let's open up our backpacks. Get everything we need all set up. Let's see. So we're gonna do bear meat first. Let's see. Where's our bear meat? Uh, it's in here somewhere. There it is. So you're gonna do one piece of bear meat, one thing of spice, and one thing of beer, and then hit combine. And you'll see down here you become better uh, at baking. And I'm level two now. Uh, so let me open up a uh, empty backpack if I have one. My stuff is full of junk right now. <laughs> and put that in there. And I'll show you the stats on that real quick. Right here, you get strength plus two, intelligence minus one. Uh, so you might be thinking, why would you want to use that? Well, there's certain classes out there that don't use intelligence uh, for any really major skill. Like my uh, cleric doesn't really use intelligence for anything. He uses wisdom. So uh, two strength wouldn't really help him out that much, except for he could carry around a little bit more weight without become encumbered. But say maybe a paladin who could use strength for his attack as well as not using uh, intelligence. This may be a pretty good item for him. Granted, it's a low-level thing, so of course it has to have that negative little impact, but it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and make some more of those. Where was the lion meat? I'm just going to move the... Oh, it's bear meat that I'm looking for. Just gonna move the bear meat over here so I remember. Get that out of there. You 
you can see it's actually not that difficult to make these. Uh, fairly cheap as well. You just have to go out and find the meat. Uh, I didn't make anything that time, unfortunately. And apparently you lose everything, all the ingredients, if you fail. Failed again. And yet again. Wow, that sucks. I keep failing. You know what? Let me put them in the right order. Maybe that makes a difference. Nope. Still nothing. So I got very lucky the first time. Well, at least I am going up in skill. Slightly. Now, let's see. This one, the one that I'm making right now, is called Bear Steaks. Uh, and it maxes out uh, Trivial at 41. And you make one of each. Uh, you also have uh, other things you can make. And as I do this, I guess I should take a minute and look over there and read you the list. I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. And man, two out of all those. It's crazy. What are the odds? Still nothing. I'm glad we got those first two, because if this was the case and I came in here, I could see how somebody could be discouraged and be like, am I doing it wrong? Nothing's happening. And we'll try another one here in a second before I read off the list. Because I still have the lion meat. This is crazy. Dang. You can see right here where it keeps saying you lack the skill. Uh, okay, so let's see what other kind of meat we have. We have wolf meat. Go ahead and accept that. Move those over here. So let's see the wolf meat one. Uh, wolf meat, spices, and short beer it makes a beer braised wolf. Uh, and it makes two at a time. And the trivial is 68. So let's try that one. Hopefully we'll have better luck. This is just going to be a really, really hard skill to level up. And these meats, uh, you know, are not too difficult to get. But uh, they do take a while to, to add up to where you feel like you want to come back and, and spend a little time uh, working on it. So it kind of sucks that we're not even going to get to see what it makes because our skill is so low. Okay, <laughs> I guess we'll just keep going. Our skill is going up. Albeit very, very slow and at a, a cost that I'm not exactly comfortable with, but the only alternative is to go put points into it, and I don't really like doing that if I can avoid it. I like doing it the way it was meant to be done. Uh, not that putting points into it is cheating or anything, but uh, those are clumps and snake. There we go. Lion meat. Okay, we can do lion meat. Let's see, what do I got for lion meat? Uh, bear braised lion. Lion meat, spices, short bear. And uh, you need you make two at a time, and the uh, trivial is 68, so... Let's see, try our hand at this. Man.
These are obviously way too hard. There we go. Let's see, what does that look like? Negative one intelligence plus two agility. So that's kind of cool for the right class, obviously. And it looks like all these are going to have really, really, uh, you know, negative side effects on some of them. But uh, a nice little boost on others. So you just have to uh, figure out what you need for your class and what you don't need. Uh, and be willing to take that little extra hit to get the, uh, you know, extra two because it seems like it's like two for one and negative one on the other. And if they had one for like wisdom with a negative two on agility or something like that, I would have definitely used that uh, for my uh, cleric. So let's see. Put that in there. Got another one at least. It's coming along a little bit better. Still, after this many tries, I figured we'd be a lot higher. The blacksmithing one actually is a lot easier to level up. I've done far fewer of those, and I'm a lot higher level than it is on this one. So, some of these are just going to take longer and probably a little bit more money. That's crazy. Yeah, let's see what kind of meat I have left. I still have lion meat. Kind of sucks that you gotta put them in here one at a time. Uh, you know, for those of you who are used to like Quest 2, you can just kind of click a button. But it's kind of cool too because you know, if you ask somebody who played like EverQuest 2, uh, what did they need to make you know uh, a beer braised pork, they probably won't be able to tell you the ingredients. Uh, yet somebody who plays this quite a bit will probably know that oh, I need uh, you know the uh, the beer and I need the the uh, spices and all that other stuff because it is something you have to actually literally go out and get all the pieces to uh, and then know what they are. You got to know what the recipe is yourself. You, it's not like I just open up my journal and it just tells me, oh, I can make this because I have the ingredients on me. Because I've noticed that with some of the newer games that come out is if it has a map. Uh, like with Assassin's Creed, I end up staring at the map the entire time. Uh, and I don't ever actually uh, memorize the... Uh, am I out? A beer? I might be out of beer. Yeah, I'm going to go buy some room. But, you know, when there isn't a map, I actually start to learn the locations of buildings and things of that sort. And then years later when I come back... Uh, you know, I still remember a lot of it. Whereas if it, there's a map, you know, I don't remember any of it. I just, I'll just look at the map again and follow that. So baking a level eleven, I guess I could live with this. Not too terribly bad. before we're finally out of these. And out of all those, we only really got to to the combine.
right. And since the recipe is pretty much the same, or is exactly the same, I should say, for all of these. Uh, did I do that one already? Yeah, that's beer. It's cool though that makes two. Let's see what kind of meat is this? Wolf meat. So we haven't made any of those yet. We did bear and lion. This will be our first wolf. Hopefully one of these will actually combine. And we'll get to see what it makes. Let's see what this does. Stamina plus two, intelligence minus one. So that'd be good for a tank, uh, probably a paladin. Uh, you'll get that extra little health, and then minus the intelligence that they don't actually use. Not so good on a Shadow Knight who actually uses intelligence for their power. But it is such a small loss that I guess, you know, if you really wanted that extra little boost of life, uh, you could possibly put up with that. Now keep in mind, if you keep this stuff in your backpack, uh, you will eventually eat it yourself. Or if it's in the first slots before it gets to your... Because I usually have my, my backpack of food uh, in one of my last slots. Uh, so if I happen to pick up, uh, you know, some junk food uh, along the way, I can just, uh, you know, have them eat through that faster, or first, uh, before they eat the good stuff. Uh, to make up, uh, you know, more room, because uh, it does take up slots, even if it's just one item. And you'll often pick up, you know, a burnt piece of toast, or bread, or or something weird like that from, from random mobs. I figured I might as well eat it rather than throw it away. Because if you get into a really good group, and you've forgotten to go back and, and get food and water, you'd be surprised you run out halfway through the group and be wishing you had some, because... The only alternative is to either ask somebody else for some, or you know, get a cleric to uh, to summon you some burnt bread. And I forgot what it, the water was. I think it's just a you know jar of water or something weird like that. This is ridiculous. Here we go. Well, the wolf one seemed to be a little easier to make than uh, the other ones, although it could just be the fact that my skill has gone up. Let's see, what else do I got? Uh, snake and chunk. So that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. I'm going to have to build back up uh, another supply and then come back and do some more. And I'll, I'll do the video again for you guys when that happens so that you guys can see every bit of the way. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, oh, before I go, I want to read uh, all the uh, recipes that you should be doing at this level. You got bat wing crunchies, and you need bat wings, or just one bat wing, and one frosting. And it makes one yield, and it's trivial at 46. You can do bear sandwiches, that's uh, bear meat, and a loaf of bread. Uh, you have one yield, and it's trivial at 31 bear steaks, that's bear meat, spices, and jug of sauces. So that's a jug of sauces. And it makes one, and it's trivial at 41. Uh, bear braised beer, and you got uh, bear meat, short beer, and spices. That's what we were doing. It yields two, and it's trivial at 68. Uh, bear, beer braised gator, gator meat, spices, and short beer. Makes two, and it's trivial at 68. Uh, beer braised mammoth, mammoth meat, spices, and beer. Uh, trivial at 68, and it makes two. Uh, beer braised lion, lion meat, spices, short beer. Uh, makes two, and it's trivial at 68. Beer braised rat, that's rat meat, spices, and short beer. Makes two, and trivial at 68. Uh, bear braised wolf, that's wolf meat, spices, and short beer. Makes two, and it's trivial at 68. And that's pretty much where you could stop for the lower level ones. If you want something a little higher because you got quite a few of them, like uh, fire beetle eyes, which you might have uh, quite a few at this level, uh, you can make uh, it into a pie, but you're going to need uh, 
uh, Python, which Blacksmiths make. So if you've been working on that skill, you can make yourself one. And it's called uh, Beetle Eye Pie. And you need clump of dough, fire beetle eye, and spices. And it makes five, and it's trivial at 142. So technically not something uh, I would really... Uh, you know go out of my way to make it this early stage but you can if you really want to again guys I want to thank you guys for watching